Hi everyone, welcome to the series on Linux for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can count the number of sequences in a FASTK file. So, for this tutorial, the only requirement you need to satisfy is to have a Linux system. You can also run this in a macOS system, so any of them should be fine. They are all Unix like operating systems. So I'll move straight to the NCBI database where I will download an example dataset. And this is the page. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box for you to use. I'm using the Nucleotide database, so you should also make sure you have this Nucleotide database here. If you don't see, just click on this arrow and then search through to get the Nucleotide database. So I'll search for an example sequence here, I will use the BRCA gene here, BRC. So this is the term. I will search by clicking this search button here. And then I will have some hits coming up. So I will download some of them here. But before I do that, I need to check the ones I am interested in. So I will just check them. Let me just use the first 10. You can also use five for any number that should be fine i mean the point here is to just get this number so that we know the answer we are expecting that is what we want to do but any number should be fine for you i will just use 10. so when you select the sequences of interest you will see the number of selected sequences here so mine is what 10 because we have selected 10. so i'll now go and then download it so on this same page Follow my cursor um, to the right here, and you see this button here called Send To. So I'll just go here, click on it, make sure complete record is checked, and then come to File. And then here we have Formats. We select Fast A. So I have them here. So complete record. Choose destination file format first A, and then I'll click on create file and then I'll save it. So I'll save it in my home directory here. I'll save it here. So home directory, I'll leave the default name here and then I'll just save it. It's called sequence.fastA. That is what I have there. So it's saved. Now let's go. If I go to home directory, notice the file is here. That is what I need here. That's the file I need. So I'll just go to the terminal and then proceed from there. So there's my terminal. So because I saved it in my home directory, I just need to do a CD. That's all. And then when I do an LS, I'll see the first A file there. It's called sequence.fastA. So there's the file and that is what i'm going to use so this tutorial is going to be very quick and simple because it has been designed especially for beginners so you should know that when we talk about fast a files let me show you the formats first let's go back i'll open this you can open this with a text editor i'll just open it in fast a files each sequence begins with this symbol here, the greater than symbol here. This is the format. I will leave some link in the description. That also it gives you more information about how fast A files or sequences are. So this is just a quick overview. So it begins with this symbol here. And so what it means is that when we count the number of these symbols in a file, that will give us the total number of sequences. So that is the trick to counting. In Linux. So Linux, we have some utilities that helps you to process text files and one of them helps you to even count patterns. We call it the grep. Okay, that's what we are going to do. You can also use the awk and then the others to also count, but I'll just use um, the grep for the meantime. So that's what we are going to count. And so let's come back here. And then I'll just say grep junior EP. I'll just get a quotes, add my back, my um, greater than symbol. I'll put them in quotes. But sometimes you can also leave them like this. But 
just to be safe just make sure you put it in quotes you can use double quotes or single quotes any of them is fine but just make sure that if you start with a single quote you end with a single quote if it's double you end with double so once i do this i just fill in the file here now if you do it this way let's count if you do it this way this by default will return lines that contain this particular symbol here or character here so when you count manually you still get 10 but then if you have hundreds and thousands of sequences it's going to be a challenge trying to count the lines one by one and so there's another utility to help you count the lines and so that's what we are going to do so issue this command again just type and then add this command you this pipe command here this command here and then just type wc space dash l like this and once you do it this way you have the number shown here for you so that's what 10 okay so that's how you do it with um, the counting of number of sequences in a linux environment okay so that's how we do it in linux and so that'll be the end of this tutorial but if you're also interested to know how you can count the number of sequences using python then you can just watch the next video that i'm showing right now so that'll be all for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next session goodbye